Sunday find you. My name is Walt, and this is Coffee and Concepts on Keystroke Medium. Uh, well, to start things off, we have to do the traditional. That means coffee. All right, going to take a quick sip. Yes, that is the way to do it. Um, so this morning, I um, wanted to give you guys a little bit of a tip to kick things off. Um, so I love, love, love cafe-style coffees, um, uh, espresso, cappuccino, um, latte. Um, they're a great break from that coffee at home where you, you know, brew and chew and, and, and get all that stuff in there. Um, like right now, I am drinking a... Um, I am drinking a Costa Rican blend, a uh, little bit of higher acid content, still a dark roast, uh, um, got that semi-smoky bitter taste to it. Uh, however, sometimes you just want a little cream in your coffee. So uh, yeah, definitely go with that, definitely go with that, uh, that cafe style coffee. Uh, as a good break, a good way to take in a little bit of uh, <laughs> a good uh, way to take in a little bit of a break from the normal every day. We have uh, Indigo Dragon saying coffee is life. Thank you very much. You are correct. So one of the tips I wanted to talk about today is um, getting that cafe experience at home. So been really busy lately. Uh, it's it's kind of hard to get out and, you know, drive you know, the, oh my goodness, first world problems, drive the 10, 15 minutes to my coffee shop and, and have them uh, brew and whip, get things together. So one of the tips that we can use is uh, heating up some milk, right? Whatever your particular flavor of milk is, uh, getting that nice and hot, boiling is best, um, you know, get it all bubbly and super. Then take your French press, so for those of you who don't know, this is just a different way to brew coffee. You'd grind up some beans, put it in the bottom. The thing has a plunger, and you just press down after about four minutes of heated water over the beans. Uh, the plunger has a screen on it to filter out all the grit and the uh, grounds. And then you get a pretty decent cup of coffee um, that is a little bit stronger than if you had done it in a, a coffee pot percolator, you know, whatever you want to call it. Um, however, uh, it's got, it's got a lot more of the oil in the coffee to it. So that's a lot of fun. However, if you want that cafe experience at home, uh, go heavy on the grinds with, uh, about half the water you would normally use, uh, get it super boily hot, throw it in there, press down. You're going to get a really strong cup of coffee, but you only want about half the cup. Then, clean that all out, boil milk, uh, heat it up. If you, you know, if you, if you don't got, if you don't have a, a quick, um, boil method, uh, microwave, if you want to really cheat, however, get that milk in there. And when you put the plunger back on, you're going to seat the plunger all the way to the bottom. So all the way closed, like you see in the picture. And then you're going to pump like you're trying to churn butter right? Get that going really fast. Uh, and what you're going to see is you're going to see a heady foam start forming. Uh, it only takes about 20, 30 seconds uh, for you to get that going. You get that big foam head right on top. Uh, and then what you're going to do is with that half cup of coffee that you have, you're going to take half the coffee. You're going to pour a little bit of milk in so that it gets to about a third of the cup left empty. And then you're going to take a spoon. Now, if you're using a glass or Pyrex uh, French press, you want to make sure you're using either a plastic or uh, some other type of uh, uh, spoon like ceramic uh, because the hard metal, uh, if you hit too hard, you can crack the glass or the Pyrex on these French presses and uh, it's a pain in the butt after that. Um, basically, you got to replace it. But if you if all you have is a metal spoon, just go very gingerly. Try not to touch the sides. Pull that, pull that foam that's left in the bottom out and just kind of scoop it on top. And with very little difficulty, you have a homemade latte, cappuccino, what have you. So if you are looking for a latte, go half milk, 
a little with only a little bit of excuse me half coffee uh fill up except for a little bit on top with milk and then coat it with foam so it's kind of almost half and half um cappuccino is a third coffee a third milk and a third foam uh and then of course you could always put cinnamon on top chocolate uh m&ms well i don't know whatever your weird taste is uh for me whoa hello cat for me my uh weird taste is a little bit of cinnamon on top once in a while uh, and then I get uh, artistic and grab a toothpick and try and draw on it and just mess it up and make it end up looking like, uh, you know, some dude just took a toothpick and spread sentiment over the top of his foam. But yeah, that's my tip for today as far as coffee goes. So we're going to get into today's concept. And for the month of January, we've been doing a really quick trip where we take... Um, we take a minute to see what are your obstacles to writing. And today's obstacle is breaks so uh, there are times when you're going to be writing and it's just like i gotta get these words down i'm writing i'm going like outline and uh, and everything's going and you're pushing through and you're just getting every you squeezing every ounce of life out of every word and getting it on the page however right you're almost like a battery if you drain it too quick, it's going to it's going to work itself out. You're not going to be able to, you know, the, you're going to look back on what you wrote before and it's going to be like, oh, man, well, that sucks. <laughs> and you don't want that. You want to be able to get those words down. You want the time you spend writing to be quality. It, it, you want it to have that enjoyment factor. So remember to take breaks. For me, it's that little latte every once in a while uh, if, if the mood strikes or walking my dogs, um, sitting down and checking out a cool flick uh, to recharge those batteries, you know, get those creative juices recharging. Um, I'm very lucky in that uh, part of an insider's reading group uh, where we get lots and lots and lots of content. Hey, Facebook user, good morning. Let's scroll on over to FaceSpace and see exactly who we talking to. Um, so um, I'm very lucky to be part of an insider's group and we get lots of content uh, every month. So I get to um, uh, Linda Pogue. Good morning. I don't think that's a name I've seen before. Uh, thank you for joining us. So um, yeah, that insider's group, we get a lot of content, right? So every once in a while, I need my batteries recharged, grab my reader, grab my hard copies, which I got behind those Witcher, you know, dolls for everybody uh, like uh, Josh action figures. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, grab grab that cool book that you've been reading and, and recharge those batteries. You know, take a break every once in a while. Make sure the writing um, is life, but you're not living to write. Uh, because if it's that's all you got going on, you're going to find that slowly over time, you're going to have diminished capacity of work to product and that's not going to be enjoyable for you it's not going to be enjoyable for your readers uh we, you know uh, we want to wring the best words out of you that we can get and to do that make sure you take plenty of breaks so that you can um just like a just like your uh your e-readers and and computers and stuff like that you're not going to get any joy out of them if they're if they're pushing along on a dead battery. So get those breaks in, get those words in, stay motivated. Just remember, every obstacle is just a cleverly disguised opportunity for greatness. My name is Walt. This is Coffee and Concepts. We want to thank people for coming out. Uh, welcome aboard, Linda. Indigo Dragon, uh, we talked a little bit on uh, uh, during the Monday show. Uh, good to see you here. And uh, don't forget to stay tuned to all the great content that we have coming out from Keystroke Medium. Fly over to keystrokemedium.com and pick yourself up a bag of coffee uh, in the event that you know your batteries are running low and you're looking for a little bit different. And we'll catch you next time uh, for reading, writing, and a little bit more here on Keystroke Medium. Have a great morning.